The student athlete to me is, is interesting because I think a lot of people have a misconception as, as to what it means to be a student athlete and a lot of people see the athlete but they forget about the student piece. Well I think that uh, uh, you find as a, as a college coach that a lot of times that uh, it's a lifestyle and Chris Forfar is a great example of somebody that is committed. There you go boys! There you go boys! Way to battle! Our goal for all the players is to achieve a high level of success regardless of whether it's on the ice or in the classroom. It's all one big package and uh, I think that uh, that's uh, one of the reasons that Michigan State is uh, a top place to be is because at the end of it all uh, you walk away with a, a great situation at hand. What's real important here is that we're helping our student athletes uh, understand what it takes to achieve the highest level of success that they're capable of, whether that's from a hockey perspective. Or an academic perspective. Playing hockey is definitely very competitive. Being a student, you also strive to do your best. Uh, the market might have jumped way too much for it, so we could actually get out right now. And that's something that we as a team definitely strive for. Go three on three, one, two, three, go three. Let's go here tonight, boys. All 60 here. Knowing that we're competitive by nature. Come on, boys. Empty the tank. Let's go here. Keep battling through. And we definitely try to be the best at everything we can be. The student athlete to me is, is interesting because I think a lot of people have a misconception as, as to what it means to be a student athlete and a lot of people see the athlete but they forget about the student piece. So one of the things that I see a lot in these athletes are that they're, they're dedicated. They're absolutely dedicated to, to, to being the best that they can be whether it's on the ice or whether it's on the rink or it's on the court or, or in the classroom. We need everyone here, let's go now! Stay engaged boys! I think we set the tone. Uh, at the coaching level of saying academics are important. And we, we don't just bring people in, ask them to play a sport, and then let them leave and, and, and leave them on their own. We, we, we build the whole person. We build the athlete, we build the student. And so I think that's a critical takeaway is setting the right tone, uh, and that comes from the coach. Well, I, I think to be perfectly honest, at Michigan State, as a, as a coaching staff, we are very fortunate to have the support and the people we have. Hey, News, News, the D got to do a better job. Realizing the three on two that this far guy was covered, no one stepped up on him. And I think our biggest role is supporting and demanding of our players that, that they know that academics is very important to us. Uh, that this is, uh, yeah, we're hockey coaches, but you know, our goal for you is to leave here with a, uh, a diploma in hand, an NHL contract in hand, and a smile on your face. One of the things that I, that I do think is very different about being a, a student athlete as opposed to being a student is the, the incredible time requirement. These guys have practice, you know, I don't know if it's every day, but, but most day. Uh, game days they've got preparation going on, they watch a ton of film. And yet it's very interesting because they still continue to perform you know, extremely well in the classroom. And, and it's always a challenge to me as to, to figure out how these guys do that. And one of the things is, I notice on the nights that I go home late, I, I might be leaving here at 9 o'clock after teaching an evening class or something like that, and, and, and every time I stick my head in this lab at, at 8.30 at night and I see Chris or Anthony or, or somebody else in the lab, the level of dedication and 9 o'clock at night on a Thursday night, most people, most undergraduate students are off enjoying a social life and, and the hockey players happen to be grinding out more hours in the lab to make sure that their, their coursework is where it needs to be or their stock picks are where they need to be uh, or they're, they're, in the case of Darty, I see him in, in here watching film and, and he's preparing for the next game and so it's, it's amazing to see the dedication of the student athlete on the, on the student side as well. We have a good makeup of players here who are real committed to achieving at a very high level. Let's get back to dominating 5 on 5 boys! Let's take it to him, five on five. Let's go, boys. Let's go here, five on five now, boys. Be smart. 
What's asked of them is substantial, considerable time is put into the academic side, uh, both from other people and themselves, and so there's a real time crunch uh, to go out there and, and compete at a high level, both in athletics and academically. It definitely teaches you a lot about balance. You have to train yourself to be at the rink when you're at the rink and give all you can. But when you're, when you're done with hockey, you have to focus on your schoolwork. And the, the university is very supportive with the Student Athlete Center. Um, they, they give us all the resources we need to succeed in school. They help us out with, with tutors and a computer center, you know, writing center, and they, they definitely support their student athletes very well. Well, on the athletic side, you have weight rooms, you have uh, you know, areas to shoot pucks, you can work in all different sorts or different parts of your game. On the academic side, we have similar resources and the, the athletic department and the university is very committed to seeing high success rates uh, in student athletes, not just uh, wins and losses. And so um, the Smith Center here is off the charts in my mind. The other thing that we do is the Clarabelle Smith Center is an amazing facility where students are required to spend uh, X number of hours per week in there depending on their year and, and, and how they're doing in class. And that provides the students every resource necessary to be successful. And so the combination of having a coach that wants you to be successful in the classroom and having that culture that says we don't accept failure in the classroom combined with the resources to be successful is amazing. Well, I think that uh... Uh, you find as a, as a college coach that a lot of times that uh, it's a lifestyle and Chris Forfar is a great example of somebody that is committed, that gives 100%, 100% of the time, whether he's dealing with athletics, in his case hockey, or uh, academics, which in his case is a, his finance degree. I, I think Chris is, Chris is an enigma in, in, in terms of Chris is one of the most naturally gifted people all the way around that you ever see. Some people are brilliant, some people are great athletes. Chris happens to be a great athlete who is also brilliant. He has a very high work ethic, he's very committed to having success, and um, I'm not surprised that uh, he approaches his academics with the same intensity that he approaches his hockey. There you go, boy! There you go, boy! Way to battle! To his credit and to his benefit someday, when he walks out of Michigan State, he's going to know he put a lot of his time and effort into achieving to his potential in both. It's not enough to do a good job or do a nice presentation or pick a stock that makes a little bit of money. Chris wants to make the, he wants to make all the money. I mean, not, not a lot of money, all the money. And so every time he makes a pick, he wants to nail it. He wants to hit a home run. He wants to drive for huge amounts of success. He picked a couple of stocks last year. One, one struggled a little bit early on, and, and Chris lost about $20,000 early in the year. And Chris got a little bit hesitant, and, and, and I went to him and said, listen, Chris, you gotta you got pull the trigger on another deal here. You need to come out and pick something and see what happens. It turns out he made about $150,000 on his next stock pick. So not only did he make back the 20 grand he lost, but you know, another, whatever it was, $130,000 or something. It was an amazing pick. I mean, failure is gonna happen. It's, it's how you react to the failure and getting back up on that horse. It's going to happen in school, it's going to happen in life, it's going to happen on the rink. I'm going to be better, I'm going to be better, I swear. One of my biggest fears coming in as a freshman was to fail. And I've learned throughout the years that if you're not failing, you're not really trying hard enough. And one of the things that Coach Anastas preaches to us is to try new things and to try to get better each day. So it, it, it translates from school to ice to hockey, to life, that you just got to keep going and keep trying your hardest. Keep battling, boys! Keep battling! He's making a difference in the classroom, and he's making a difference uh, with his classmates, and certainly he'll find uh, years uh, from Michigan State uh, that all this hard work and preparation that he's committed to now is going to make a difference in his life as well. It's all one big package, and uh, I think that uh, that's uh, one of the reasons that Michigan State is uh, a top place to be, is because at the end of it all, uh, you walk away with a, a great situation at hand.